Hey everyone, it's Catherine from Server Pro, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your Minecraft game into a fun survival gameplay. Before we begin, if you'd like to download any of the mods featured in this video, all the download links will be in the description down below. And if you don't know how to install mods, you can click the eye in the top right corner, which will lead you to a video tutorial on how to do so. And now without further ado, let's get into this video. For the first mod we're going to be installing is Biomes O Plenty. As you can see, I'm selecting the Biomes O Plenty world type and starting a new world. And this mod is going to give us the world we're playing in. Biomes O Plenty adds in a vast amount of new and unique biomes to the overworld and the nether. Along with those new biomes, it adds new plants, flowers, trees, building blocks, and much more. This mod helps make your world look a lot more interesting as well as adds a more fun exploring experience. Next, we're going to add the Zeros Minimap mod. Whether you're playing with mods or purely just vanilla Minecraft, I think this mod is super helpful. This mod adds in a minimap to the top left of your screen. It also has another super helpful feature where you can create waypoints of certain locations around your world to make it easier to navigate and know your way back home if you go out exploring. Waypoints also help you find previously visited locations or reach specific coordinates with optional teleportation. This mod is very convenient and makes it easier to get around your world. This is the first client-only mod on this list. This means you don't need to install it on your server, only on your PC. For the next mod, we're going to add Pam's Harvestcraft. Pam's Harvestcraft comes as four separate mods. We have Pam's Trees, Pam's Crops, Pam's Food Core, and Pam's Food Extended. Combining all these four mods together in-game gives you the ultimate farming experience. We all know how limited the vanilla farming experience could be, and farming is a part of survival. So with this mod, you now have a huge variety of crops to choose from and newly added recipes to create different kinds of fun meals. Next, we're going to add the Nature's Compass mod. With the Biomes O' Plenty mod added to your game, you now have a lot of different biomes in your world. With the Nature's Compass, you're now able to search for a biome's location anywhere in the world and view information about it. When you right-click with Nature's Compass, it will open the Biome Selection GUI, from which you can search for a biome or view information about it. You also have the option to select a biome and teleport to it using the compass. I think this mod is super helpful when you have an extensive biomes mod installed into your game such as Biomes O' Plenty. Whenever you need a specific biome, instead of wandering aimlessly, the Nature's Compass will help guide you to it. Now we're going to spice up Minecraft's caves by adding Young's Better Caves and Young's Better Mineshafts mod. Young's Better Caves completely revamps Minecraft's cave systems. Caves may seem small and modest at the surface, but the deeper down you go, the more interesting things get. You'll find lava caverns, underground lakes and rivers, flooded caverns, and more. Overall, this mod enhances caves making it more fun when you go mining. Young's Better Mineshafts completely overhauls vanilla abandoned mineshafts, changing them from straight boring lines into dynamic and different webs of tunnels. Mineshafts differ from biome to biome. For example, jungle biomes have a jungle-themed mineshaft, whereas mushroom biomes have a mushroom-themed mineshaft. As well as snow biomes have snow and ice-themed mineshafts. There are 9 biome variants in total. In these mineshafts, you will also find abandoned workstations, workstation cellars, and abandoned miners' outposts. Having this mod alongside Young's Better Capes mod overall gives you a truly unique mining and caving experience. Next up, we're going to add the Just Enough Items mod. Just Enough Items is an item and recipe viewing mod for Minecraft. Since we're going to need a good amount of mods for a fun survival gameplay, having the Just Enough Items mod is going to be really handy. If you need the recipe to craft an item, this mod has your back. As soon as you go into your inventory, you will notice a huge menu on the right. As you can see, there are a lot of items from the mods we've added so far displayed here. If you want to know how to craft a specific item from any mod, you can just go ahead and click that item from the menu and it will give you its recipe. Now we're going to add the Artifacts mod. Artifacts is a mod that aims to make exploring more rewarding as it adds various powerful items that can't be crafted but only found around your world. Some of the items you can find include snorkels which give you the ability to breathe underwater and night vision goggles which let you see in the dark, as well as a scarf of invisibility which when put on makes you invisible. 
a fire gauntlet that you can wear and set your targets on fire, or even a farmer's hat that you can wear to decrease trading prices, and villagers may also occasionally give you gifts. There's a lot more items you can find besides these around your world. The items added by this mod can be found in chests and vanilla structures. Also, a new underground campsite structure has been added. Mimics occasionally spawn in these campsites instead of chests. Mimics are dangerous enemies that attack players that get too close, and they always drop a random artifact when killed. The next mod we're going to add is Traveler's Backpack. Since we're adding a lot of mods, there's no doubt that when it comes to collecting items while exploring, you're going to need some extra space to store all the things you find. Instead of having to go through the hassle of a full inventory, this mod adds a craftable backpack to help you. Using the Traveler's Backpack, you have some extra space as well as a crafting table within your backpack. You can also store water and lava and take out buckets of water or lava whenever you need some. So not only does this backpack help you store items, but it also is convenient for other things. Next, we're going to add the Undergarden mod. The Undergarden is a whole new dark, subterranean dimension located deep under the bedrock of the overworld. To get into this dimension, you will of course need to build a portal. To build a portal, you will need to craft a catalyst. To craft a catalyst, you will need 4 gold ingots, 4 iron ingots, and a diamond. After that, build a portal using stone bricks and light it up with a catalyst. As soon as you go through the portal, you now have entered the Undergarden Dimension. In this new world, you will find different varieties of flowers growing without the need for light, 9 different biomes, as well as a variety of strange creatures. This mod adds a completely new and interesting world you can explore and really elevates your survival gameplay. Before we move on to the rest of the mods, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can enjoy more content from Server Pro and never miss a new video. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, hit that like button. Next, we're going to add the Alex's Mobs mod. This mod adds new real world creatures as well as fictional creatures to your world. Some of those creatures include bears, snakes, the Endergade, and many more. As soon as you spawn into a new world, you will be given an animal dictionary which will show you all the creatures added with this mod, as well as more information about each one of them. For the next mod, we're going to add the Merpig mod. This mod is rather simple and very straightforward. It adds a new creature to the game known as the Merpig, which is the water version of a pig. Merpigs spawn randomly in oceans and deep oceans, and they are a new source of transportation underwater. You can ride them using a saddle and guide them towards the direction you want to go in using a seagrass on a stick, which can be crafted with a fishing rod and seagrass. This is a really fun feature to add to the oceans of your world, as well as a new and fun way to get around using water. Next, we're going to add the Falling Tree mod. Instead of going through the hassle of chopping down every block of a tree to obtain wood, this mod makes cutting down trees a whole lot more convenient and easier. All you need to do is chop one block of a tree using an axe, and the tree will fall down with the rest of its wood that you can collect. This makes the process of collecting wood so much easier and is also super convenient when it comes to chopping down bigger trees. For the next mod, we're adding Mr. Crayfish's Furniture mod. This mod adds in over 80 unique pieces of furniture to help you decorate the inside of your home and builds. Some items added by this mod have specific functions such as the mailbox, where you can send mail to other players in your world. Since having a base is very important in survival, who says you can't spice up your space with some cool furniture and decorations? For the next decoration mod we're adding is Supplementaries. This mod adds many animated and functional decorations, as well as useful and creative redstone blocks that fit well with Minecraft's aesthetic. Some of these decorations include wind vanes, hanging signs, jars, notice boards, wall lanterns, signposts, planters, and many more. For the last decoration mod on this list is the Fairy Lights mod. This mod adds a variety of designs of string lights you can craft and hang up to add an extra touch to your builds. You can craft many different designs in almost any color. This is a great way to decorate your builds in general, and also another way to add a source of light instead of using torches. Next, we're adding the Valhelsia Structures mod. Valhelsia Structures is a mod that generates new structures such as abandoned buildings and dungeons around your world. This mod also adds more to the exploration experience as you will encounter random structures on your way that you can explore and earn loot from. 
And now for the final mod of this video is the Champions mod. Champions is a mod that adds elite mobs of different rarities with enhanced stats, extra abilities, and extra loot. These champions can be spawned for any hostile mob in the game. Champion mobs are defined by their ranks. Every time a hostile mob is spawned into the world, it's assigned a rank. Most mobs will be common and have no special characteristics, while some mobs will spawn as champions. Players can recognize them by the special colored particles they emit, as well as the special health bar that appears on your screen when you look at them. With each rank, champions gain stronger stats, more abilities, and more loot to drop. And that is it for all the mods. Once you add all these mods together and start a new world, you will have enough mods that enhance every aspect of Minecraft including exploration, farming, mining, building, decorating, fighting, and more with no configuration changes to the mods. All of these mods together help you create a world full of possibilities and opportunities and I hope you all have fun using them. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to try out these mods for yourself and perhaps along with some friends, check out server.pro using link in the description down below. Until next time!